<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example towards younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing this word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, by Shema, Shah, pushing to get up out of here, Shalom, want to hopefully the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Oshai? And what I want to get into this morning, you know, is dealing with, you know, the importance, you know, of what we're doing. You know, the men whom the Lord have set up, you know, in these last days, you know, to teach and preach the gospel, you know, of our repentance in the kingdom of heaven, you know, on the way, all right, ushering in by Yahweh Shai. All right, our king, our savior, you know, our fellow tribesmen, you know, the only begotten son, as we preach these things, you know, understanding the importance of it because it's not us, you know, <laughs> as a vessel that's of importance, it's what we're doing. That's the importance, you know, understand what we're doing, that is the importance in the scriptures. You know, kind of go in there when you go into uh, Romans, the 10th chapter. All right. And I'm going to start at the 13th verse. And it said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, Christians, you know, they'll take that scripture and pretty much <laughs> at the end of the service, they'll do what they call an altar call. And you come down and confess Jesus Christ and now you're saved. No, 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 no. All right. That's not what they're speaking of. Because when you go into that word name, one of the definitions is authority. All right. And everything that's, every thought that's provoked, you know, when you hear that name. And there's a different energy behind Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ has no authority. All right. <laughs> in the doctrine. All right, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Bible, you see, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai. And there was a certain authority given to Yahweh Shai. And there was a certain people that Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver. So going to the altar and calling on Jesus, there's no salvation in that, you know? But repentance, coming back to righteousness, according to the scriptures, through faith, in Yahweh Shai and his authority there's repentance in it you see and read on and this the point how then shall they call on him and whom they have not believed and how they shall, and how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher all right with your preacher is another word of saying a uh, uh, prophet you know, to say before. You see that? So how can they hear? How can they believe without a preacher? So there, there's a there's a great importance in what we're doing. Remember, not us, but what we're doing. There's a great importance, man. Because you have to understand. On the left hand side, how the Esau condition, you know, the culture. Of, 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 of thugs and the modern women and thought culture, you know, all of these things today. Well, he did it through his media, through his, you know, through his artists, you know, his musicians, his rappers, you know, they condition, all right, a culture. On the left hand side, well, you how about Shema Osha? Understand this is a spiritual war. He has raised up men on the right hand side. All right, to condition the hopeful elect in righteousness. So just as, you know, Esau program, you know, Jake, what the rap about and, you know, uh, the videos and all these different things and the, and the TVs and the media, you know, he, you know, the, the, the talk shows, he pretty much program, you know, the instructions, you know, to those vessels he was using. Well, on the right hand side, how about Shema Shah has programmed us what to say, what to preach, what to teach. 
All right, and righteousness to condition what? The hope for a lick. On the right hand side, man, so there's a, there's a grave importance in what we're doing. You know, being vessels, all right, for this gospel, man. And this has to come before everything, anything and anybody. All right? Everything else is, is a far second to this gospel, man, to this doctrine, to our purpose, man. Because it's of grave importance. Let's read it again. This is uh, Romans 10 and 14. says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe on him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher you see and we should we should look at this thing as honor you know for the Lord put the spirit on us to teach to preach to prophesy man you know that should be our battery pack for life man <laughs> you know it, it, like I say the scripture talk about how the spirit quickeneth bring us back to life this this is our life man now, when you read the next verse, it says, And how shall they preach if they be sent? Let you know that it's not of us. You know, the Lord put a particular spirit, you know, in his men. All right? And he sent them forth, man. <laughs> you see? Showing that it's not of us. It's nothing we chose and nothing we conjured up. No, we were sent. The Lord chose us out of darkness. All right? Washed us with this word, put his spirit on us, and sent us forth, man. And it says, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things, man. And at the end of the day, man, you got to really cherish your office. We got to cherish our office, man. You know? We really got to hold on tight. Like when the scripture say hold fast, you got to hold tight, man, like you... You know, like like you bear hugging something, man. You got to bear hug this office, man. You know? Because it's such a privilege and an honor. You know, you show appreciation about, you know, how you prioritize something. That's how you show appreciation for something, how you prioritize it, man. You see? But it's, 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 it's of great importance, you know, the, 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 the task... All right, that Yahweh by Shema Al Shai, you know, has put on us to perform, man. The Lord will, we just keep performing, you know, until that <laughs> that great day, all right, of redemption, man. So just want to put that out there. So Lord will, you brothers and you few sisters were edified. Till next time, I say Shalom.